Thank you very much. Yep. Game number. Yeah, I much prefer their draft this time around. They've got lots of different ways of taking fight, lots of lockdown, and especially with this relocate coming in from the Wisp, they've got loads of different ways to take out those people coming in. So, really looking forward to Mineski's draft. Obviously, Magnus on Ice Ice Ice. That's going to be exciting yeah. to watch. He's going for that Helm of Dom build last patch. I wonder if he goes for it again. We shall see. Uh, with using that in, in power with a life stealer is uh, going to be. Uh, pretty nice to help him farm up as well, and uh, yeah, always nice to see some uh, some possible big plays coming out from Ice this game. Uh, as he does like to be that kind of flashy sort of playmaking here, and of course, the hero has a taunt. 
Absolutely. So, so basically already lost. There you go. Big, yeah. He pulls it off already. Yeah, just distracting himself from the gameplay, really. Uh, but Kuroki turns around, just, just harassing him some more. I mean, so what kind of lanes are we looking at here? Where, where's, where's the action going to be? Tell me that. I think with the Whisk Clock in the off lane together, I think uh, Jakira's a pretty good good tanky support in these dual lane situations, but if it does get on, if the, the clock does get on top of the Jakira early on, it is pretty easy to bring down with a couple of levels in battery assault. So uh, you need to be careful when on your position in there with Ninja Boogie. And Ice is just still taunting away. With Jabs possibly coming around from the back, they could look to do something, but it looks like Jabs is just going to try and sneak the other room for himself. Although there is a uh, Ember Spirit coming for this rune as well, so it won't be the easiest. We'll have to get the burst track if he wants to go for this. And uh, we'll get it and grabs himself the rune. And uh, actually, Ice gets the rune at, at bottom as well. Uh, so it's going to be four runes going to Mineski. Yeah, Ice getting... start for them. Ice dropping pretty low there, though. But no, bounty rune's always nice. 200 gold split between your whole team. It's pretty good. Can't say no, can you? Uh, meanwhile, the creep block coming in from the clockwork. No surprises there. Um, best way to do it now. Yeah, I'm surprised Better GH. The shards, I think. I'm surprised GH just started off in this bot lane because I don't think uh, Ember's gonna have too hard of a time oh, no, against this mind mag. control. I think he might have deliberately let that creep go actually to get it denied and get the creep wave pushing in his favor. But uh, Ice Ice is taking a lot of harass here from GH and Kuroki as uh, he's gonna have to skewer. Oh, nice skewer actually across the river. He does have the salve as well, ready to turn back. Uh, Jab's now going to take some harass as well, but I mean, these he's two supports, trouble. he's actually going to go down here, my word. That was uh, quite the kill, as, uh, well, the, the duo of GH and Kuroki are able to find themselves an early kill. Meanwhile, Mind Control taking a little bit of harass here, but he's going to be all right. Yeah, so I asked why I started in the bot lane. There you go, there's your answer. They get the first blood on Jab's, and uh, I think they know Mind Control is going to be quite happy to just soak some XP up here. He had obviously had the uh, cogs to creep block the wave and put it in a favorable position. Well, GH destroys some trees whilst coming to uh, Kuroki, and of course, no tree respawn talent for them, so won't be coming back anytime soon. <laughs> and uh, with the Ember having a really good start on this, like this, and the Druid seems to be doing pretty well against the DK as well, with both the cores getting enabled in this early game for Liquid, I feel it's good, if he can get that Lincoln's online like they were talking about on the panel to block the Burrow Strike, block the Dragon's Tail, He's going to have a, a decent time, I think, coming into this mid-game where he can oh, just... Mushi in the top lane, getting pretty low. It's going to use that open wound defensively to get himself away uh, from mind control with that battery assault. Yeah, there isn't the uh, salve on the lifestealer either, so going to have to play around the edge a little bit here for uh, poor Mushi. Not has that fleece, and then with some tangos, we'll bring him up quicker than usual, but still not a massively fast regen, so... And uh, mind control will be looking to take advantage of that as well. Meanwhile, Jab's coming into this middle lane just to zone out between them a little bit. No real possibility of a kill just yet. In fact, Jab's probably just uh, passing by. Not even going to tap Matumaman once. There's no point. Yeah, it's very difficult for him. I think he understands that there's not much he can do down here while there's three heroes to help Ice. But I think he's going to head over to the top lane because Mind Control is having a great time at the moment. It's very difficult for the Jakira to zone him when there's very good kill potential from this battery assault. Has to play it carefully, and uh, Mind Control is more than ready to try and take advantage of... Uh, Jakira's lack of escape and uh, potential squishiness, but Jab's coming in and uh, does miss the burrow strike on mine control. GH? Can't quite get on top of the Jakira there. Did come in pretty quickly there on that, on that wave. And he's just everywhere. GH Wisp is something else. Uh, meanwhile, Ice trying to chase down Kuroki here. Um, does he have that Orb of Venom? He certainly does not, but he does have Boots. Is that going to be enough to get this kill? Something tells me maybe not, as he's uh, only level 1. And uh, now Kuroki just throws down that kinetic field. They're going to force Ice 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 away. He tries to hide. <laughs> he tries to hide. But it doesn't quite work. Yeah, if he'd have got the level 2 there on the mag, uh, Kuroki might have been in a bit more trouble, but still level 1 on the uh, Magnus, unfortunately. Yeah, Ninja Boogie going to fall in the top lane, though, as uh, Mind Control is able to take him down. This battery assault doing so much work, but in comes Jabs. The link is broken, but GH straight back in. Yeah, Jabs is still level one, three and a half minutes into the game, only halfway to level two, and he's really struggling to try and find his way back into this game and see he's not really affecting any of the lanes at the moment, it feels like. His mind controls had such a good start, and there was nothing he could do at the bottom. Into the middle lane we go as uh, Moon starts to feel a bit of pressure from the team. Um, of course, you know, the, the low druid is very good at CSing, but Ninja is going to go down at top. And Mind Control is just not letting up the pressure here. Mushi just trying to farm up creeps, but it's a pretty brutal lane as Mind Control starts to assert his dominance. And Mind Control says, it doesn't matter if I can't pull your creeps uh, the first wave now. 
I'm just going to block, cog block them and be absolutely fine when I come to this lane because it secures him the level two. So when he gets the battery assault and the cogs, easy for him in that lane. Overcharged bear, nothing to mess with. The bears that weren't scary enough already. <laughs> Especially here in Russia. Yeah, <laughs> true, true. Around every corner, miracle. Getting a kill in that bottom lane onto ice. Yeah, behind the tier one tower as well. That's so that aggressive. Deep, very deep. Um, but up at top. Uh, yep. Yeah, pops Celebrate. mango as well. Yeah, celebratory the mango. Moon. Looks like he's going down here as they do have the right click damage to follow through. Jab's going to TP in and go for the stun onto the uh, disruptor. And with the tower attacking him, going to bring him a little bit low. But GH immediately there as always. And uh, man, this Wisp player is just out of this world. Yeah. He, I reckon he can go pro one day, this GH guy. <laughs> See you. He's very good, isn't bold he? Bold claim, bold claim. We'll see how it goes for him. <laughs> I'm mean, way to go. I'm very surprised that Maneski led it through the draft again because he did so much work before, and you can see already five minutes into the game, he's doing it again. My, my I'm really worried for Maneski at the moment, though, that Ice is having a really horrible time, Mind Control is having a great time, and Ember's getting complete free farm. And a kill as well, yeah, Ember's... Uh... Having a, a pretty fantastic lane at bottom. Right now, it's hard to see where the fault in Liquid's lanes lie. There's uh, Moon getting harassed back out again. I mean, so how should Maneski be playing this right now? Because obviously, things are starting to fall apart for them right now. You know, you've, you've got Mushi with a bit of farm, but his Jakira keeps dying. Moon just really kind of losing out in this middle lane. What do Maneski need to do differently? They need to try and shut one of the lanes down, at least, because I think all three cores on Liquid are having a great time. Even Clockwork's having a great farm. Lone quite happy to farm against the DK and that's down to Jabs he needs to sit in a lane and really try and win one look of them look at this damage onto Jabs I what mean a glimpse? The glimpse back as well and with the overcharge Kuroki and GH are just hitting so very hard Moon just kind of wandering past not really too sure what to do with himself as uh, Matoom Man's coming to join as well but GH is doing a great job of just being able to kite these heroes around especially heroes like Sanking where unless they get some levels online they really need to be getting close to you to get that burrow strike off and this early on in the game, you know, this, this disruptor hits hard. Like it's, it's, it's with overcharge, it's it's no joke how hard this, uh, how much damage uh, Kuroki can put out on the, on, on a support hero. Every hero hit hard yeah. uh, this early on with overcharge. So. TGH just using it on this catapult <laughs> to try and kill the tier one. He even has the salve as well in case it starts to get attacked. In it, all the heroes, I'd be worried that they're, all the players, I'd be worried they got picked off in this situation, but not GH. Like you, you know, he's fine doing that. Yeah. In tier 1 tower down to half HP already when Druid gets level 7. Probably not going to be looking to stay around for long. Okay, so, uh, Maneski, you know, not the best lanes right now. Um, still doing okay on uh, Mushi, but Miracle having a fantastic time. Uh, they do have the RP, the Burrow Strike, um, and the Dragon Tail all to deal with the Ember Spirit. Um, so we're expecting, like, we talked about the importance of uh, Lincoln Spirit on the panel as well. Um, are we expecting him to go straight for that Lincolns after the boots of travel, or are we still expecting a Battle of Fury or Radiance or something? I don't think he'll rush one of those key items first. Matum Man does have the Midas, sorry. And uh, I think he'll go for the boots of travel. He, yeah, he might possibly go for the Lincolns, or he might go for something like a Veil first, if he wants to. Tr if he's going for the Magic route, or if he is going for the Physical route. I think Lincolns first is fine before you start to build into that kind of right-click damage. Ninja Boogie could be in trouble here as Koki's just waiting for the glimpse. And then. With the kinetic field and kinetic field in front inside of cogs, two layers of security, though, actually gets Paul forced out of the uh, the cogs there. GH. I think by the amount of units in there. Meanwhile, GH the is shot. overpowering mind control, and he's just not dying. He's just healing up so much as GH pops the salve, and uh, with the overcharge as well, and uh, everything GH's got to give. Mind Control will be fine. I love that Mind Control has gone for the phase boots again as well. We saw how much work it did last game in terms of chase and running away potential. He's like, yep, why not again? I can just hunt these heroes down like the hero. And you saw it right there. Yep. Moon's even in trouble now as those uh, orbs coming in and uh, the speed of Mind Control is just ridiculous. And now with the kinetic field as well, these uh, three heroes are actually going to go for this. Two of them's coming over as well. Right, they're back up. Liquid are doing a really good job here of drawing the attention away from Miracle and forcing fights around their strong heroes at the moment, like the Lone Druid and the Clockwork, and which allows Miracle to kind of come into the game, get his levels online, get his farm, and before they have to fight around him towards the later stages of the game. Oh, GH looking for the rune end. Oh, guess what? It, it's a region. Does he just... I reckon he types in dash spawn region every time, doesn't he? <laughs> it feels like he's always getting that one. Yeah, he just uh, slips Ice Frog a tenner under the table every game. Please PayPal me. <laughs> oh, great change Patreon. there. Yeah, so uh, Ice 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 could be in trouble here as uh, Miracle finishes him off without too much difficulty. And, yep, there's that regen room being popped by GH and Miracle is going to go right back up. 
just tank the tower if they want to as well. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, with the overcharge and the uh, regen, really, actually sits exactly on health and mana and doesn't really go up or down at all. So, don't think of. Uh, <laughs> uh, this Ember as being one of those heroes that can push the tier one this early, but with the regen rune, with all these creeps under the tower, Ice is going to have to push them away very quickly. Jab just coming around the side, though. Oh, he actually gets his uh, regen cancelled. <laughs> nice with the RP cancelled. <laughs> Still has the salve, though, on the Wisp as well, so he's going to be absolutely fine. Uh, he does actually RP on Magnus. <laughs> Not sure if it was trying to cancel him. I... Let's move on, shall we? <laughs> Ember is going on top of the Sand King as well, but DK uh, the the gets the root on the DK. DK could be in serious trouble here. There's no real way out of this situation for him. So we're just going to have to go down under his tower as mind control on the tomb and deal with him. Meanwhile, Jabs on the off lane gets taken down as well by Miracle and the gang. We did see the start of that kill, but the DK kill is such a big thing for Liquid. Moon's the real tempo controller on the side of uh, the side of Mineski, and he, if he has a bad start. I don't think this life steal is going to do enough. Ninja Boogie glimpsed into a whole world of hurt. Miracle's coming in as well. He wants a part of this kill and he gets it. Dominating already at 10 minutes on Miracle and the game's only going to get easier for him. Jumping forwards, finding Mushi. Mushi should have that rage available so he'll be ready to purge off those searing chains but uh, uses it to TP out actually. The root? Fact. And with the root, it's not there. He gets away. I mean, Mushi would have been screaming there if he'd have first hit root on the bear. <laughs> Again, Liquid just group up. So they, would we. They know they're very strong at the moment, so they can just group up around this bear, who takes towers very easily at this point in time. Yep, he's got the uh, destroy um, skill on the bear, so of course, towns go down My pretty control. quickly. I feel like this may be more uh, ice, ice, ice trouble here. It's, yeah, yeah, my control positions are perfectly to get bought back. And uh, they're going to go in with the trolls, and ice, 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 just, hey, let's get some farm. Why not? Kuroki uh, just hit the level six there on I the disruptor. Uh, Obviously, Isos House was probably trying to deny himself there, but obviously uh, a bit tricky with uh, two heroes attacking you. And uh, a Thunderbolt and a uh, Rocket. No, what's it called? Battery Assault. Battery Assault. You, you need to get in this one. What is wrong with me? Oh, the bears might be in trouble hard. here, though. Now, this bear's dead. I mean... Okay, they get 300 gold for the life stealer, you know. That's going to bring him close to his... Uh... Armlet. Yeah. You talk, something. You talked about the skewer on the mag, by the way. I want to say it was really good positioning by mind control to make sure he got in front of that skewer so the mag had to take him with him. Uh, yeah, of course. I was trying to do it at a very odd angle, which you wouldn't expect. And, uh, well, yeah, mind control is uh, ready. With this fast Midas on the Druid as well, with the my, uh, with the tower gold as well that they've received, 3,000 gold already in the banks, and he's going to be getting a very quick radiance for the bear. Yeah, but Midas Radiance is nothing to mess around with as he's just going to accelerate his farm massively into this game. Mind Control. Um, did they spot him there with the DK? Not sure they did. He is Invis though on the DK from the rune, so... Mind Control just passes him by for now, but it looks like Moon really wants to try and get a kill on this Druid here. He knows how important it is to bring him down before that Radiance comes up. Easier said than done. Especially only... Well, there is four heroes down here, though, for Minesh. Uh, Moon's blocking Matumama, and he suddenly realizes that Matumama's going to know something's up, so he has to go slightly earlier than anticipated. GH. And uh, Ice 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 has no mana for RP right now, as in comes the Ember Spirit with the Triple Spirits, and will find two kills for his team. Glimpsing back, Ice Ice Ice, he's going to be bought into this as well, despite his best efforts, and he's also going to be bought down. Oh, dear me, Liquid. Uh, they're really starting to uh, peel Mineski's bananas this game. Yeah, they're doing a great job of being around the map at all the right places at the right time. I think Matumman, like you said, saw that there was a block going on. He said to his team, like, guys, there's going to be a fight down here happening now. And with that ward behind the tower Liquid had, it just allowed them to be in exactly the right place at the right time. And this is another tier one going down for Mineski. And uh, Mushi, he's, he's got his armlet, but by, this, by the time he's got his armlet, his team have died 15 times. Yeah, they're yet to get a kill, score, uh, kill on the scoreboard. Could it be the perfect game? Well, let's hope so, because Liquid look like they can do a good job so far. I mean, who's really realistically going to die? The Disruptor, right? He's, he's the only target. Yeah, they need to get this blink. You just leave the Disruptor in base. <laughs> and... <laughs> They need to get one of the one of the blinks up on these initiating heroes, the Mag, the DK, or the Sand King, because they've got no potential to get kills at the moment unless kind of Liquid run into an RP, or like run into a Burrow Strike, and it just looks like it's not happening at the moment because Liquid are playing the map very well. They certainly are, and with this Radiance, it's just going to give them so much more map presence. I mean, you can just use that there to push out the lanes, get yourself more map control, and basically free up more space for your team, as if they needed any more. Well, there's a relocate going into top lane as well with Ember Spirit. 
They're going to jump right away as Jabs gets a bow strike, but there's three heroes here, and Jabs just can't find any way to escape from this. Yeah, and that's and the power. Yep, straight into the Lincolns for Miracle. That's the power of the relocate as well. Um, you get the setup with the chains on the Ember Spirit, and then there's nothing you can do after that because you're stuck there for two and a half seconds. It is? Maybe, no, three seconds, sorry. Well, game number one saw, uh, you know, a, a convincing enough laning phase for Liquid, but then Mineski managed to come back a fair bit on the backs of their jabs to Epo, but this game, yeah, I'm not so sure. We have seen their potential to fight in the mid game, though, and they do have some really good team fight spells, so I wouldn't count them out quite yet. Major champions, the most recent major champions, nonetheless, so there's no, no possible way you can uh, count them out. They're actually going to drag on this Wisp, but there's the uh, Tether right good back, RP. but it's a good RP onto two and a bear, and they will be able to take down GH. First kill on the board. Now comes in the Spirit. Very cool. a lot of damage, and they'll be able to take down Ice Ice Ice. Meanwhile, Mind Control under tower. Is he going to go down? I think he might, but the Life is going to go down in return. Meanwhile, the Ember Spirit is going to get that chain off. Nice ulti from Kuroki actually holding Jab and Moon back. But Miracle, I think he's going to fall here. He just about will. Jab does fall down. Moon versus the Bear versus Matumbaman and versus Kuroki. And he's actually going on Matumbaman here. Kuroki, what can you do? He's just trying to attack him. He's trying to zap him. The Dragon now just wants to get in range for it, but can't. And now gets Glimpse back. Torture for Moon now as he has to uh, fight off versus this bear, but there's so much damage coming in from GH and Kuroki, and in comes Matubaman once again with that roar, just being a little bit rude. <laughs> just comes out to his face, roars at him, gets the kill, and uh, now him and his bear will get out on absolutely no health. Yeah, and there's a team wipe by Liquid again onto Mineski, but you see that was a really good job by them to get on top of the Wisp straight away because he's the main medic of that team, keeping people's uh, heroes alive all the time, and although they do bring him down, the clockwork just did so much damage to the lifestealer, keeping him under the tower, meaning he couldn't get to the rest of his team. And Matumban is so tanky on this bear at the moment, and that was without the Radiance. Um, what were we saying before the fight? Like, they needed to bring down Matumban. Of course, GH, you don't win the fight if you don't have to take down GH. So that's the important thing. Then you really, really want to take down um, that um, Lone Druid, just because he was so close to his Radiance timing. That's actually, I think, why they were trying to take a fight, to, to fight before the Radiance. And uh, unfortunately, uh, the Lone Druid was one of the two heroes which survived the entire thing. They can't be scared to take fights still, even when they are behind like this. They're 9k gold in 16 minutes behind. And oh no, mind control on the, the relocate. Ring. We'll find Jabs. Relocate coming in quickly. The Tombman's here as well. He's got that bear. The Radiance means there's definitely no blink as if there was any chance anyway. Meanwhile, there is actually a route up onto the Lifestealer. Miracle on very low health just playing around here. And Lifestealer's just going to get a taxi out of here. Do have the hook shot though, but bottom lane they're going on to Moon. There's just action all over the map. Liquid unrelenting in their pressure, and they're actually going to find a kill onto Moon here. It looks like yes, they will. But in come Mushi, in come Ice Ice. It's a great RP onto three. One hits Kuroki from that low health position. Now just trying to get away. If they get oh, a root here, oh no, he finds the root, uses the fear to stop him getting that rage, and that is another kill on the number one position. On Mineski, oh, my hook control. shot through, ice, 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 things, Jesus, where, why is there heroes all over the map? How many players on there are there on Liquid? And ice, ice, ice just can't get away right now. Well, actually, Jabs will come in with the Burrow Strike and uh, Mind Control. Here comes he's Miracle. Alone, though. Miracle is ready, and he's just going to jump straight away. Finish oh, off Cox. that kill on Ice, Ice, Ice. Cox actually blocked them off, but they kill Jabs anyway. Sangi was channeling up the epicenter that got cancelled oh, by the Cox. My. And now Liquid just pushed the bot lane with the overcharged bear. How do you stop them? They're all over the place right now. Liquid have, uh, they've got their business hats on, don't they? Yeah, everybody thought this game wasn't going to be taken seriously, but Liquid, they wanted this unbeaten record in the group stage. Certainly do. I mean, I think they want a uh, unbeaten record throughout the entire tournament, to be honest with you. <laughs> and uh, the way they're playing right now, well, could well be a reality. I would like to see some more deep observer wards, though, from Liquid to really take advantage of this. They could just go for the Roche, though, and try to fight around there for their next objective. If you get that uh, Aegis on the... Probably Miracle. Might even put it on Matumbaman, but to me, it doesn't look like Matumbaman's dying at the moment. That's the thing. Mineski, they are slightly reliant on their cooldown. Got no RP. They've got no Epicenter. They've got no Infest. They don't even have a Dragon Form. And yet, like, Liquid just did so much damage to them as well. So oh, Liquid may just want to fight again. He could be in trouble. Open Wounds. Nice path a bit off the mark, but they do find the Burrow Strike and they will bring down the Disruptor. Yep. Fifth for uh, Mineski. No ultimates committed there either, so they'll be with that one. Miracle is just farming away in this plane though, and it looks like he's going for the Blink after the Lincolns and following it up with the Maelstroms. Yeah, so we did see that the other day on the game. Obviously the Maelstrom can prop from the Slight of Fist, so it's a 
Pretty good item on Ember now that it gives some good uh, But Moon good in the damage. middle lane, they're trying to bring him down. They find that root. Mushi coming in from the sides, but Moon's already dead. Mushi going on to GH here, but realizes that this maybe isn't a fight as Jabs jumps in. He just cancels the relocate. trying to get out. I think Jabs just trying to get as much attention off the lifestealer as possible as Mushi tries to find his way out of this fight. But GH, he's there. He gives the overcharge to the bear, and they are going to find that root onto the Jakiro and with a slider fist to finish it off. Miracle gets a double kill. Mushi, they're still giving chase. RP tempting. Doesn't commit. Oh, the chains. Mushi Ice is in trouble. <laughs> he's just baiting out the RP, but Ice 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 just TPs and dies. Uh, uh, this big bad bear is not stopping, is he? They don't even know need to go for the Roshan Liquid. They're just walking all over Mineski at this point. It's so difficult to take fights with their lineup when they're behind in this game. They really wanted to be in front and get their blinks online and just it be so aggressive, but... Overpower oh. on the bear. Look at those barracks go. This is 19, 20 minutes into the game and these barracks just don't stand a chance. I don't think they got the barracks quite as early as last game, but it's still a decent timing. And now onto the bear. Timberman being jumped on here. Oh, look at those cogs. Just defends the Timberman. Oh, the root onto Sanking as well. Oh, now the Macropire tries to defend from something here. Uh, but he's just going to go down as Miracle could die. It's oh, the deep. Orchids. Meanwhile, it's the Life Stealer caught inside that static field. Oh, it's a RP. nice RP onto two and a bear. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like damage there. But the ice of the epicenter as well. They have the damage. They can only take down mind control, though. It is a really good attempt at a fight, and if it had been earlier on in the game, it would have been a good Give Rampage! Fight. He's going for it. Miracle, Ninja Boogie, he's just attacking him down, and GG is called, and they will actually ice bath up. He's just going to sit still and let him have it. What a champion. Yeah, fantastic by them. I said Orchid at the end, it was the Static Storm, static by the way, with storm. the silence. But Miracle just gets that good early laning stage for them, and it just they never looked back, did they? Liquid, they were always on the front foot, always being aggressive. Mind Control played amazing on that clockwork as well, being the really hard tempo controller for them, just being everywhere, involved in every single fight, it felt like. Yeah, just like the pressure and ooh, good Dota. Yes, exactly. Number one. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> um,